Obviously, uh, England Athletics and UK are spending a lot of time at the moment focusing on developing and supporting coaches. From your perspective, how important were your personal coaches in your development as an athlete? Well, they were vital to me. Um, I started with my current coaches now um, when I was 11. Um, when we moved down to Bedford and I went down to the, the local track, my dad took me down and introduced me to Alex Stanton and his wife Rosemary, who of course were coaching the, the Bedford group there. And it was key really, I mean the relationship with them, they know me so well, Alec knows me so well, he can tell even now from just speaking to me on the phone mm -hmm. how things are going. And the, the relationships evolved over the years from being told exactly what to do to kind of a bit more feedback to now working together on, on setting the schedules and things. Um, but still the enthusiasm's there and I think that's, that's the most important thing is that we have enthusiastic, well-trained coaches who are supported and looked after and appreciated um, because what they do is key and vital in terms of nurturing the athletes, not doing too much too soon, letting them concentrate on um, training techniques, formation, schoolwork even at that stage and then coming through later to be successful seniors. So we, what we want is successful and looked after juniors, but more importantly, successful seniors. Uh, completely, and that's a large focus for the governing bodies, the education process on you know, developing juniors and transitioning to senior success. And, and before moving to Bedford, of course, you were beneficiary of uh, the wonderful George Bunner and his work up in Frodsham. And of course, George is, is well known for his focus on multi-event specialism mm -hmm. and sports hall athletics. How important do you think an introduction to a multi-event approach at a very early age is? I think that's vital too. I mean, I think the key thing um, with young athletes is that they get a chance to try everything, to try all different sports even, but particularly within track and field, to let them try different events, to find the one that they are really enjoying and that the one that they excel at. And I think that all-round approach can make for a stronger, all-rounded, more rounded athlete later on, but also gives the athlete the opportunity to discover an event which they might not have tried before, might never have found they were good at, and we might have a future world or Olympic champion in that event. And I think with George as well, the most important thing about sports hall was that it was fun mm. and it really attracted kids in and I remember going down on like cold, dark winter's nights and you go in and just have an hour of, of total fun and it doesn't even feel like training at that age but you are introducing people to athletics and, and showing them what a great sport it is. And a final word for your home club, Bedford and County, how important were Bedford and County and the many volunteers that give up their time and effort to provide what is a service for other people? Well, Bedford were very important for me and for all the athletes of Bedford and County, but I think all clubs just have a, a vital role. And it's something almost a little bit unique to, to the UK that we have this strong club system and we shouldn't let it go. We should be, be proud of that, work on it and really support it because you go to countries like the States, they don't have that club system um, and they don't have that almost family nurturing to fall back on um, and they tend to be alone when they come to training sessions or when they hit hard times that makes it, it more difficult so the clubs are really important I think for across the age groups right through from juniors or up to veterans uh, I think for a junior to be involved in a successful club teamwork to learn all of those things it really helps.